Hi. What's up? My name is Evan. Welcome to my channel. Um, as you know, uh, if you've been following me on Instagram or if you've watched my two recent videos, um, or I guess oldest videos, which you can just find it in the description below, or if you just click on my account, I recently finished my first through hike of the SRKG Trail, Son of P. Ragged Kearsarge Greenway Trail. Uh, I completed that on May 11th. Um, and I figured, what do I do now? Um, how do I make more content out of that? So, uh, on my Instagram, there was a thing, and you guys asked me some great questions, and I'm actually going to answer them today for you. Um, I'm going to give a little brief description of what the SRKG Trail is, um, and then I'll hop right into your guys' questions. So. Alright, so you, some of you guys may be wondering, what is the SRKG Trail? So, it's a loop that runs... Uh, I started at Proctor, and I went all the way to Kearsarge, to Mount Sunapee, to Sunapee Harbor, um, to Bog Mount, and then to um, at Mount Ragged. So here's actually uh, the trail map of it. As you can see, it is a loop. So I started somewhere around here. I came down, and then, so day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, and then I finished. So this is what it looks like. This is Lake Sunapee right here, um, Newberry Harbor and Sunapee Harbor. Um, so that that's the trail, if you're wondering. Um, it's a big loop, and it's marked, and it's marked by these blazes, um, trap trapezoids uh, that have the SRKG symbol on them. All right, so let's hop right into these questions that you guys gave me. Um, question one: How many miles was it? Um, just a simple uh, question, 75 miles. Even though I did get lost and I did do some approach trails and end trails, so for me personally it was probably around 80 miles I'd say, but I guess the trail is 75 miles. Um, that is the SRKG trail. So question two is what was the main reason for actually doing this trail? So actually, I had the idea in school, uh, I have a dream to go hike the Appalachian Trail, and senior year, I'm hiking the Long Trail, border to border of Vermont. Um, so I figured there's got to be a trail in my area that can, one, teach me about this kind of stuff, two, tell me if I like this kind of stuff, if I like getting up and hiking every day, um, and et cetera, et cetera. But I guess the main reason was I just wanted to see what it was like. Um, see what I could, what I was made of. Um, and I've always had a passion for hiking, so just, yeah, I guess that was it. All right, so question three was, how long did it take? So, yes, it actually took me six days to complete the all 75 miles. Um, I definitely could have done it in three days or four days. Uh, around the third day, actually, I did 27 miles, and I did 15, and then I did 12. And by that 12th mile, I actually developed tendonitis in my Achilles, um, in my left Achilles. So that really pushed me back. Um, so the next weekend, I got out, and I got to actually on the trailhead at 4 o'clock uh, p.m. So I didn't have that much time to hike. And then the next day, I church, and it just kept on cutting half days and half days. Um, and then the sixth day, I finished it. Uh, I, I did like 20 miles that day, but, um, so I definitely, I did it in six days, definitely could have done it in three or four. This so. was actually one of my favorite questions that I got, so question four was, how many Pop-Tarts? Um, he's probably referring to this right here. Um, uh... Probably too many. I think I bought four boxes, which equals four, 16, 32 Pop-Tarts. I think I ate throughout the six days. Um, Pop-Tarts and peanut butter, I guess. Yeah, probably not the healthiest, but it keep it kept me going surprisingly more than I thought it would. But All right, so question five was, did I like it? <laughs> Yes, of course. I didn't like it. I loved it. Was there times where I looked at the trail and said, man, I really hate you right now. I do not like this. Yes, of course. 
but then I remembered why I started and my purpose for it and yeah, it was it was a lovely trail. I I loved it. All right, so the sixth question I got was how hard was it mentally for you? Um I guess not too hard. Sometimes it's it the hardest the most mental part of it is when you hit a trail sign and it's like seven miles to go and you're like I still have to hike seven miles and then once I get there I have to do another seven miles and then another five to finish the day and to not really getting used to those like being like whoa I just did seven miles I guess that was probably the hardest mental part um but other than that it's not that bad it's it's more flat and there's hills sometimes that make you want to quit but um if you're okay with getting dirty and punching out those miles, it's it's not that bad. All right, question seven. I like this one. Would I do it again? Yes. In a heartbeat, I would do it again. Will I do it again? Yes. I'm not sure. Um, it's not going to be a big through hike. It's just going to be little section hikes. Um, of maybe some trail that I missed or stuff that I skipped over because it was closed. But yes, I'm definitely going to do this trail again. All right, question eight. How <laughs> how often did I shower? All right, I think that's enough Led Zeppelin. All right, so the, th the first three days that I started, I did around 20, 25 miles, and then I did 15 miles, and then I did 12 miles. Those three days, I did not shower at all. I actually showered the fourth morning of that day. Um, uh, one night, I was at my grandparents. The other night, I was in a tent. So it just didn't work out. I didn't really shower. Um, but then the other three days, where I just did day hike, day hike, day hike, um, I showered that night. So I'm not that gross, okay? All right, another great question. Question nine is... What was the greatest view out there? And I would have to say Ragged Mountain. Um, I knew I was getting close to the end of the trail. Uh, I got to actually share it with my buddy Matt Ulrich. Um, it was a steep and hard and mentally hard hike up. And just getting to that top so unexpectedly and being like, Wow, and actually, here's the view right here. I'll just show it to you. But, um, so here it is. All right, and yeah, as you can see, I could see everything and anything. And it just made me realize how small me and my problems were. And I guess that's another main reason why I did it, was just to humble myself. So, definitely Ragged Mountain had the greatest view. So, Alright, so this is probably one of the hardest questions I won't answer. It is, what did I think about most on the trail? Alright, so for me personally, I thought a lot about why I started it. Um, embracing the suck, um, for the last, for the first, for the second day I was out there and the third day I was out there, it was pouring rain. Um, so just embracing the suck and knowing why I started, um, are things that I thought about a lot. Um, yeah, if I think of any, I'll let you know, but I mainly just thought about why I started and embracing the stu suck and just thinking about all those open doors that this trail would give me so trying to live in the moment all right so here's another tough question i got question 10 or no question 11 um what was my favorite part of the trail now this one's tricky to be cliche all of it was my favorite part the whole trail was a plus um i also want to say finishing but there's always a bittersweet in finishing it. Um, so I don't really have a favorite part. Um, but pro I would definitely say the whole thing. Um, maybe going up Bog Mountain because it was just a short, easy hike. Great view. 
and I knew I was going to finish that day. So, All right, so this is another good question. Question 12, what are two things on that trail that I could have not gone without of? In other words, it basically would have made it super uncomfortable or super hard to finish the hike. So I guess number one would be my knife. Um, I carry a SOG knife, uh, which I'll show you right here. And um, there's a lot of beware of dogs and dogs like right on the driveway. Because on the trail, there's, there's a lot of road walking. And every house I would pass on those dirt, sketchy roads, um, there'd be a dog. And every time, I'd put my hand, take out my knife, um, just like, hi, you know, someone casual. Because um, I didn't know if they were going to come after me or not. And they did not look like nice golden retriever dogs. So, um, definitely my knife, it just made me feel comfortable in, in hiking, I guess. Um, and number two, probably my rain jacket. Uh, the first couple of days were just soaking wet. Um, it drizzled basically every day but the first day and having that rain jacket really just kept me dry um and i put it on my pack to keep my pack dry when i didn't need it so probably my rain jacket and my knife all right question 13 was it buggy no buggy not buddy thank god i was smart even though it was a little bit by accident i planned my hike um, through April 25th, I think, April 26th I started, and May 11th. So, that is right, it's too early for bugs, like mosquito black flies, and again, May 11th is too early, it hasn't hit Mother's Day, so there's no mosquitoes, no black flies, I did find one tick, um, we found it on Matt, actually, um, but there wasn't any ticks, mosquitoes, bugs, gnats, flies, um, any of that. Maybe I wasn't in high enough altitude for all those flies, um, and it wasn't season yet for the mosquito and black flies. So I was actually very lucky not to have any flies because I'm not sure how that would have affected um, A, my mental game, and B, how much I actually would have enjoyed the hike. So definitely early, early spring, March, or um, April and May, early May, for the hike if you want to go. All right, question 14. This is my favorite question of all so far. Um, and I know it's a question you guys are dying to know. What's next? Are you like me now? Are you like me now? What is next for me? What is my next through hike? Um, obviously, AT is in the future, long trails in the future. But what's next? What's something I can get done this summer? What's something I can uh, get done in this next year? So I have two things. One, I'm hiking the Pemi Loop. Um, so there's going to be a video on that this summer. And something that I'm actually really excited for is the Sunapi Monadnock Greenway. Um, it's like 50 miles. It goes from Mount Sunapi to Mount Monadnock or switched. Um, I haven't done a whole load of research, but that is what's next. Um, I know in Matt, in the video, I said, what is next? So I'm guessing that's where they got their question from. But that is what's next. Um, the Monadnock Sunapi Greenway and the Pemi Loop, so Pemi Jawasa building this loop. So. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, I might do a part two if I get more questions. I'm gonna, again, subscribe, like, comment down below what you liked about this video, what I could improve on. Um, if you have any other questions about my through hike of the SRKG trail, um, go ahead and pop them down below. Thanks for watching, um, and stay tuned because more videos on hiking and some other things in my niche will be coming out soon so thank you guys for all your support and rock on go out and hike